Hey guys, Sushi Stew back on here tonight. I'm going to show you how to force downgrade, force update your playbook so that you can root it. So if you're on 2.0.0.6149, which is the OS beta, the latest one is, is unrootable. And as you can see here, the last time I was plugged in Desktop Manager, I'm at 2.0. 0.04869, which is the rootable 2.0. 1.08 is, I believe, rootable, but uh, I don't have it. And I will teach you how to force it to what you need. So make sure you have the latest version of Desktop Manager. There's a 7.0 beta. I'll provide a link in the description. Download that. Next you're going to download a copy of 2.0.4869 or the rootable 1.08. And in these what we're looking for is the QCFM file. Here we have 4869 we're going to use this inside the loader cache. Now, once you have everything downloaded, your playbook is connected to Desktop Manager. You need to go to Blackberry website here and register your Blackberry for the OS2 upgrade. That way we can trick Desktop Manager when it's time. So register your playbook and you'll get an option to update in Desktop Manager. I'm registering mine right now. There it's registered. So I gotta plug mine in. While we're waiting for that to connect, you can open up an extra window like I have on the side. In this window we're going to go over to the C drive. C drive you want to go to users. Pick your username. Once that's open we're going to app data roaming. Scroll down find research in motion. Blackberry folder and if you have not started the update you may not see this file but you can get ready for it if you see it you can open it there may be one or two files I've already done mine so I have two files in here and when you start the update you will get a folder like this you want to use the one that has the latest date on it Mine's not in dev mode, so that's fine. I'm going to leave it. But uh, once yours is plugged in, you're registered, you'll get an option to update. So you click update. It will come up and tell you that you have a new version 2.0 to update. And you click start update. That's when you'll get the loader cache file. It'll pop up shortly after. You're going to open up whichever one of these opens with a whole bunch of bar files loading in. This is where Desktop Manager does its downloading and loading to the playbook. When it's 
you see the QCFM file. You're going to take that file and copy the name. So copy that name. And that's where we're going to rename the file that you downloaded, that you know is the rootable operating system. So we're going to rename that. So it's renamed the right one. Then you can copy that folder, that file that we just renamed. Go back to the loader cache. Now you see this file size, 210. When you see your QCFM inside the loader cache loading up, you're going to see it getting bigger and bigger. It's going to be probably one of the last files to finish downloading. And this is where the timing comes in. You have to wait for it to finish downloading, but you have to paste your file in before it installs. So if you see it's at 200 kilobytes, you can start hitting it. It will might say try again, but continue doing it until you get it. And if you get it where it says you're replacing a file, then you're all good to go. So once you've replaced that file, you can let everything finish and let your playbook restart. It'll open up. Desktop Manager will tell you to unplug for finishing to restart probably. And that's how you force downgrade your playbook. If you have any problems, crackberry.com is your friend. So make sure you visit there. Check them out. Peace.